Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use a very powerful indicator in trading called CVD. It is a tool that I really love to use myself and something you will see in many of my updates video. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about CVD absorption and also how to trade it. But I'm also going to talk to you about CVD exhaustion and why you cannot trade CVD exhaustion. But first, let's start with a little bit of theory. What is CVD? Now CVD is cumulative volume delta and what the CVD indicator is showing, which I'll show the indicator at the end of the video, is it is showing market buyers and market sellers. So if the CVD line indicator is moving towards the upside, it means that in that particular candle, there were more market buyers than the market sellers. And if CVD is moving to the downside, it means that in that candle, there were more market sellers than market buyers. Don't forget that also a stop loss is a market buy or a market sell order. Now there's two types of CVD divergences. You have CVD absorption and CVD exhaustion. CVD absorption can be traded. CVD exhaustion is not tradable and I will explain to you why that is. So let's first start with CVD absorption and let's then start with the bullish CVD divergences. So if we talk about bullish CVD divergences, we're talking about price creating a higher low, but the CVD indicator creating a lower low. Therefore, you now have a higher low in price, lower low in CVD, a bullish divergence. And what this means from a theoretical standpoint is that in this higher low, more people are actually market selling than in the lower low. So that means that someone over here is absorbing those market sell orders with a limit buy order. And once the market sellers are exhausted, price is then pushed towards the upside. So how can you then trade this if you spot it? You enter over here at the second higher low. Stop loss is below the first low, the lower low that was created. And the first target is going to be the high over here between the two lows. And then depending on what price does, you can take profit, close the trade or look for continuation. If we then talk about bearish CVD divergences, price is creating a lower high, but the CVD indicator is creating a higher high, which means that in this lower high, more people are actually market buying. However, price is not creating a new high. So someone is sitting here with a very big limit short, absorbing all those buy orders for then eventually a continuation to the downside, a push to the downside. Now trading bearish CVD divergences can be done by entering over here at the lower high. Stop loss is above the higher high and the first target is going to be the low over here between the two highs. And depending on price, what price does, you can then take profit, close the trade or look for continuation to the downside. Now if we then look at some real life examples, starting with the bearish CVD example, over here you can see we have a lower high in price. But if we then go to the CVD chart over here, which I'll share at the end of the video, we actually have a higher high on the CVD. So over here, you can see the high, lower high over here on price. But look at the yellow line, a higher high on the CVD. Lower high price, higher high CVD, bearish divergences, where the target for these divergences are the lows over here at 26.3K on this particular chart, which has been taken. So this is a successful CVD setup. A bullish CVD scenario was also happening in this range with over here a low created, higher low on price. But if we look at CVD over here, you can see that even though price created a higher low on both the yellow as well as the blue, the CVD line created a lower low. So a higher low on price, lower low on CVD, bullish divergences, absorption going on for then a continuation and a push to the upside where the target was this high at 27.3K. It was taken before then eventually a continuation for more downside. Now let's then talk about exhaustion. So there is bullish and there is bearish CVD exhaustion. And when we talk about bullish CVD exhaustion, we're talking about price making a lower low, but the CVD line making a higher low, which basically could mean that over here in this lower low, there are less market sell orders. And therefore the expectation can be that price is going to return towards the upside. In a bearish scenario, it means that price is making a higher high, but the CVD is making a lower high, which then means that there are less market buyers at this second high. And therefore, the expectation is that price is then moving towards the downside because people are or the price is exhausted. Now, the reason you do not trade 
exhaustion is because we should not forget about the limit orders because what this can also mean on the CVD is even though price is now making a lower low but there is a higher low on CVD this move to the downside can also be supported by limit orders and if a move to the downside is supported by limit orders that can be extra bearish for a continuation to the downside. Same with the bearish scenario over here, where if we have a move towards the upside and we can see a lower high on the CVD, it doesn't mean that there are, let's say, no longs coming in. No, that can mean that over here with this push to the upside, the push to the upside is actually supported by limit long orders, big, big limit long positions that are absorbing all the shorts that are trying to short to push price to Watch the upside and that would be extra bullish so always watch out when you see cvd exhaustion i want to show you an example of why it is so risky to trade cvd exhaustion by going to my discord because i actually wrote about this on the 18th of april 2023 where i said a bit of education here and why we only trade absorption and the other exhaustion uh, exhaustion divergences i don't even look at if you look at this screenshot price is at the same level now as it was on the left of the picture but the cvd is lower is this exhaustion is this weakness so if i open the picture you can see price is at the same level but the cvd line is very much lower so is this exhaustion is this weakness now this is what i see and what i've seen playing out countless of times again and again and this is very common so price is at the same level with lower cvd meaning this move is likely to be supported by limit orders meaning that people have been absorbing market shorts at the lows and now people are not aggressive buyers during this move to the upside but this is exactly what you want to see in trading right you want to see 90 percent of traders to lose or miss out at the lows people likely got scared and started shorting limit longs can then absorb these limit uh, these market shorts which eventually is causing the shorts to dry out this cvd so basically the picture over here this cvd shows that price is at the same level even though there was more shorting going on than market longing reflected by a lower lower cvd at the same price levels Limit longs does likely absorbed shorts and helped this move towards the upside with people now scared to buy or not yet participating but waiting. Conclusion, don't focus on exhaustion, try to understand CVD and read it in the perspective of market and limit orders. Try to understand what CVD really means and how it reflects into price. This message was written on the 18th of April 2023 and if we then go to the chart and we go to the 18th of April 2023 we are talking about this move over here so over here this was the move on the picture however price at the moment I was writing that was over here over here price was making a higher high but the CVD was clearly showing a lower high but as you can see this move was supported by limit orders pushing price towards the upside and this is a clear reason why one does not trade exhaustion because exhaustion is a lot more risky than trading absorption there's many different platforms that you can use to check cvd divergences but the one i use is the aggr website and the yellow line is basically a cvd divergence line from the platform bybit and the blue line that you see is an aggregated cvd line from all the crypto exchanges that basically shows a little bit of an average and also you will most likely see me use CVD between like the five minute and the one hour time frames which also for using CVD is the best time frames in my opinion it's more accurate and better on the lower time frames than the higher time frames if you want to have my template or receive my template just go to my discord channel you can find the link in the description go to the good to know channel and over here you will see the AGGR website link as well as the template that I always show in my update video so that being said I hope this video was helpful or valuable to you Please check out the most recent update if you're interested. And for now, thanks for watching and subscribing. And I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye.